Welcome back to Four Man Con TV. We're back with Shannon J Speaks with yeah. Shannon J Speaks.com, UniverseMiami.com. So, what are we going to talk about today? What's on the menu? What's How are you doing, menu? by the way? I'm like, great. Listen, I'm always good. Life is good. I'm here. I'm breathing. I'm yeah, breathing. I know you're here because you know, you're here, <laughs> here, 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 boom, boom, here. A little bit ever, everywhere. You keep telling everybody that it's all good. Yeah, I gotta work. Girls gotta work. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Girls got to get paid. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So, today we're going to be speaking on like just a healthy self, like, a, you know. Healthy self. self. Yes. Meaning. Meaning, just have a good relationship with yourself, mm. and, you know, good self-esteem, you know, it just a lot how of you get to do that. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, to me, how you be yourself has a lot to do with how you live life and you interact with people. Like, I think I interact well with people because I have yeah, actually, yeah, self-help. You know what I mean? Like, and a lot of people, um, they live off uh, the uh, confirmation of other people. Yeah. Instead of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where a lot of pain, and stress, and depression comes from. That is definitely correct because with having a healthy self, it's really about what you feel about yourself. How do you value yourself? How do you view yourself? Do you think you're doing well enough in your life? It shouldn't be, you know, about what other people right. feel about you. Um, you have to know what you want out of life and what you want of yourself, and just be responsible for that. Hold yourself accountable for that. Like creates, that's what self help is about. It creates a, a lot of uh, trend setting because yes. you're not worried about following. You want to do your own thing, yes. and then you know it creates new avenues and new things to it do. Does. And healthy self also, you know, comes with a healthy mindset. Yes. Which means that you can't let too much negativity no. through your eyes. No, 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 no. Because it pays the fact whether you know it or not. Like if you continuously um, watch or uh, do things and um, see things that's negative, it, it affects your thought pattern. It does. Yeah. It does. You know, a healthy mind leads to a healthy life. In 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 my view. Um, and to just kind of go deeper into what you're saying, let's say you, your entire life you've been watching, um, now I'm not trying to blame anything on TV or video games or whatever, but let's just, let's, you know, hypothetically. Let's just say, uh, yeah. Every day you're watching gunplay on TV. You know, that's just all you, you're learning. You're, you're, you know, you know, put it into your mind. Then all you're going to know is gunplay. You know what I mean? The person who puts... Or housewife. Oh. Then all you're gonna right. you know, know is housewife hey, life. No, I, I, it's a pretty good show, but you can't yeah. take too much of anything. Like I used to watch First Forty Eight all the time. I just had to stop watching because I know that you have to be balanced. You can't put too much because yes. you, you you start thinking about it a lot, whether you like it or not. Yes. You throughout the day you start thinking about you know this guy got killed and you know and you can attract that to yourself. Yes, you could you could even fear irrationally right. fear things or right. areas right. or people. Right. It's yeah. just like First Forty Eight. They um. They say over here is like the, where a lot of killing happens. Yes. But when I check the stats, there's more killing in South Beach <laughs> than in Overtown. Wow. But in first part of the year, you swear, don't go to Overtown. Yes. But everybody goes to South Beach and there's more killing over yes, here. Yes, yes. Yeah, so you just gotta be careful about what you put into your mind. And just even self health is even about your physical and your spiritual. Like, that's what are your where I am. Um, aspects of your life? That's where I like. <laughs> the healthy, I'm, I'm working on it though. I'm in Trader Joe's the yeah. other day. Eat right. You know Trader Joe's? Yes, yes. My yeah. mom loves Trader Joe's, by the way. Yo. So, I know yeah. I'm trying to get some sponsorship. No, I like to. Oh, gosh. My mom, yeah. My mom loves Trader Joe's. Anytime I'm down here, I have to drive to Kendall to. Oh, they have one pepper pines? Do they? Yes. What's that happen? That just happened. Wow. Right, okay. right close to the mall. Okay. See, I got to check that see, out. Trip. <laughs> right? Yeah, because yeah. they're starting Kendall than um, Trader Joe's. Yeah, they're supposed to put one in Boca, too. Yeah, that's that's big right there because it's everything organic. And let me tell you how you know it's real. It's not abundance. Oh yeah. It's not a million <laughs> pieces of uh, lettuce there. Right. You know, it's only so much because it's natural stuff is yeah. only so much. Yeah. You know, when you're trying to feed a million and billion people, where you got to make it fake because it's impossible to feed with something natural. My thing with the whole genetically modified foods is that you have to be careful. If you're modifying food and you're putting it into your body, what is the domino effect? So I'm I'm very careful in, in that regard. You're better, you're, better, you're better than me than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not perfect, but I, I try my best because we we really gotta. gotta See, be I got head started. I was born in Jamaica, so. Oh you know, yeah. You know, in Jamaica, of course. Everything, everything, we, 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 none up. of that. No, 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 no. Um, you gonna hear my accent? Come, we're talking about Jamaica here. 
<laughs> but yeah, when when um when I was growing up in Jamaica, um modify what? <laughs> <laughs> my you know, there's no modify anything. Um my grandfather was a farmer, so our our acre, the land we owned, there was farming, there was fruit, there was vegetables. Had a mango tree, um, had an apple oh my tree. gosh, plum so tree, set. plum tree, oh get up. Everything. Everything, right yard, everything. Boom. I climbed the mango tree, I was like a little tomboy. But what about these fruits without seeds? Mm. Listen. Now how you grow a fruit without <laughs> seeds? Think about it. That's my fact. It is, it is, it's modified. But it, it, like I said, going back home to Jamaica, I didn't grow up with modified foods. No. It was all natural, you know, the the chicken and the goat and the the, the, the pigs, the, 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 the cow is right in the backyard right. and we go, you know, do what you gotta do. Yeah, so yeah. it was, it was fresh all the I time. I think the, the food industry is being affected by the, um, uh, what do you call it, capitalism industry. It's, just, it's not about feeding the right thing, it's about how many you can feed. Mm -hmm. Who can sell the first billion people and who can do this and who can be the better company. Mm -hmm. So when you get into that, you can't no longer think about humanity. Yeah. When, you, when you start doing numbers, humans and numbers don't go too well. You know, if you're trying to make a million dollars by the end of the month, they don't care what you do, you got it's like a cop. Like yeah. if they got if they got a right in the month. Hey, yeah, if I got two rough. left, you might just get pulled over. It's rough because it does, it affects your self health. Right. Because when you when you think about it, like it's less expensive to go buy the unhealthy food. And when we go and we want the organic food, you want the all naturals, you well, have to pay way more. Yeah, but Trader Joe's not that expensive. I, I oh, thought no, it was. No, it's not. It's not. It's very, but, very unreasonable. But, but it's still a burger more expensive. is 99 cents. <laughs> when you only got two dollars, you get a burger and a, hand, a honey bun and a 50 yeah. cent soda. And that don't, that's things in your stomach too. That's not gonna go away. I have a lot of it in mind. <laughs> I gotta detox soon, but that's besides the point. But healthy mindset. Yeah. Healthy body. Healthy body and healthy spirit. Yeah, healthy spirit. Good. Yeah. That's 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 like the most important part. Yeah. Like your spirit gotta be good. Your spirit gotta be strong. Cause oh, you, yeah. when your mind break down, your body break down, your, yep. your spirit can carry you on. Yeah. See, I find myself having to pray a lot. Like when you get in certain situations, sometimes I'm people right are now. trying to. Of course, yeah, we're always, always praying. So when you get yourself in certain situations and you feel like people are pushing your button, it's like, Lord, I want, I want to act in it. You know, <laughs> please don't let me. Punch <laughs> don't <down. laughs> I don't want to get out of character. You know, I don't want to get to that angry young girl part. that I used to be. You know what I mean? I want to stay in my you know peaceful, classy self, and it's. You know, we but, just gotta do that. That yeah. that comes with a strong spirituality. Yeah, healthy self. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's it's always a work in progress. Yeah. Because you you you're never flawless. You're always no. learning. No. You're always messing up. So you can always do better. And I think it starts with loving yourself, yourself. who you yeah. are, yeah. as a person. I remember when I was younger, uh, they used to tease me about my big lips. <laughs> but now I love them. <laughs> But no, you just accept yourself who, who you yeah, are and you, yeah. your personality shines bigger than yes, it looks. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Right, so. And you know what? You gotta know who you wanna be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's I decided who I wanted to be. When I was younger, I was very angry. I, it was just, I felt negative energy and I didn't want that energy in me. So I decided to let go of that. Like, and I, people probably say I overuse the term in terms of, in saying that. I don't want negative energy around me. I want to be positive. They I want, want good it. love. But it's the reality of my situation. But it's a natural, that's a natural state of being. Yeah. You're born in the image of love. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you're born, you're smiling. You, yeah. you love everybody. Yeah. You're honest. You yes. say, Mommy, my big teeth. <laughs> you're not lying. No, you're, you're telling really the true. truth. Yeah. You're, when yeah. your mama said, shut up, then she's telling you to lie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. a, a grown man shouldn't feel if a, if a kid says he has a big tooth, you should not. You should. You should tell you. You got a big tooth. I mean, it's not lying. So it's don't teach the kid to lie. Be no. honest. You know. So teach him to be honest. That's your natural way of being. You know. So if you can try to get back to a natural way of being with the knowledge that we have, you know, yes. I think self like, health. Be a healthy self. Yeah. Yes. For mankind. <laughs> yeah. Check out Channy J speaks every week on For Mankind TV Universe Miami dot com. Also on Channy J speaks dot. Make sure you check out the blog and check us back next week. Yeah!